Hi, I'm Karen, and uh, I'm excited. I'm going to show you guys this fun PowerPoint. Um, so get ready. Uh, yeah, I run this show in town at this place called Caveat. That's called um, the Biodiversity Jam. And basically, I invite a bunch of comedians to come and talk about fun animals they like and make jokes about it. And I encourage them to put in facts. I will say most of the time there's you know not really any facts in there. But uh, we'll see how this goes. So I'm talking to you guys about this animal. It's called Darwin's fox, also known as um, Darwin Zorro. And we'll start off with some fun fox facts. So uh, this little boy is endemic to Chile. Uh, he's the smallest fox out of all the foxes. And if you're trying to picture exactly how small that is, um, at its full grown weight, it weighs four to eight pounds. Um, and for context, I weigh about three pounds, so <laughs> if you are having trouble, you know, figuring out what that is, you can lift me and just know it's heavier than I am. <laughs> okay. Um, its tail can get from seven to ten inches long, which is too long. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and it is known as an umbrella species, which means that if for some reason this um, species of animal were to die out, it would affect a lot of the other animals in its ecosystem. It's responsible for keeping the other uh, species sort of alive and doing well. Cool. Um, this is a fun photo of them just, I guess, hanging out under a bigger one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, a literal umbrella species. Thank you, audience member who made that joke for me. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the fox was discovered by Charles Darwin, hence the name, and uh, I got this photo from Google, and I'm not going to lie, Google could have showed me a photo of any old white man, and I would have been like, that's Charles Darwin. <laughs> and you might be like, no, I know who that is, in which case I'll prove to you that's false, because I think Charles Darwin looks maybe exactly like Claude Monet. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I do feel like balding white men over a certain age, I'm like, you're all Santa. And uh, I mean that as a compliment, Santa's very hot. Okay. So, <laughs> moving on. Oh, yeah, so uh, Charles Darwin, we all know him from, you know, the HMS Beagle. That's like the most famous expedition that he went on. He went to the Galapagos. Um, he discovered this fox in December of 1834. And, oh, an important thing really quick is... Do you see how nice he looks? He looks like a sweet guy, right? Looks like he'd be like a cute grandpa figure. Um, okay, well, read this journal entry about him discovering this fox for the first time. The fox sat on the point and was so absorbed in watching survey work that he allowed me to walk behind him and actually kill him with my geological hammer. <laughs> Which is horrifying! That's crazy! That's him journaling, thinking that no one's gonna read his journal and hundreds of years later, we're all reading it! <laughs> This man is psycho because do you know what a geological hammer looks like? It looks like this! <laughs> That's awful. Okay, moving on. Here's another of these boys. <laughs> um, I keep, you know, saying it's a boy. That's because all animals are boys. We know this. That's just a fact. Um, okay, this leads to an important slide <laughs> called Animated Foxes I Find Attractive. <laughs> Thank you, this is very important. Um, I would say this is the most scientifically accurate part of this presentation. Uh, and a fun thing to know is that I talked to someone who runs an animation company recently and she asked me, you know, sort of to break the ice like, oh, like, which, you know, animations did you grow up with and which animations did you like? And for some reason, I just thought she meant like, which animated character do you most want to bone? Um, and so then I think I literally said, oh, I'm horned up for Robin Hood. And she went, what? <laughs> so then I had to sort of backtrack and then backtrack far enough that I left the cafe and just never saw her again. <laughs> um, animated foxes I find attractive. <laughs> we love him. He's, uh, you know, Nick in Zootopia. Smooth, suave, the voice of Jason Bateman, not the politics of Jason Bateman. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know his politics. I'm sure he's great. Um, Robin Hood, this is the aforementioned person I would like to bone. Um, Anderson Cooper, great fox. <laughs> yeah, give it up for Anderson. 
<laughs> um, I do want to take a quick pivot from this and quickly tell you something about myself, which is that um, I just get, I'm going to show you who my childhood crushes were and then my adulthood crushes <laughs> to prove an important point, which is that my childhood crush, Robin Hood, grown up crush, this boy. Um, my childhood crush was also Klaus Baudelaire from A Series of Unfortunate Events. Yeah, OG sad boy. He was so sad that he didn't have parents. <laughs> Uh, and then this guy from National Treasure, big nerd, okay. My adulthood crushes, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I would say somehow even sadder than Klaus. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Richard Ayolati. Okay, moving on. I have a consistent brand. That's the point I wanted to make. Um, also, I'm single. That's my phone number. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Uh, here's more pictures of foxes, I guess, just cuddling up together. They're very cute. Um, but now this is where I come to you with just something I need to get off my chest, yeah. which is I did a lot of Googling and I did a lot of reading uh, and then learned that actually this inn was not a fox. Um, Darwin's foxes are not actually foxes. Isn't that insane? They're wolves! <laughs> And they just are called foxes because Darwin came up with them, found them, named it after himself, which, wow, that's a move. Um, <laughs> right, very, like, man thing to do. And then he named it foxes, and everyone went, okay, well, you're Charles Darwin, so we believe what you say. And afterwards, they found out that it's not actually a fox, and they went, oh, but out of respect to Charles Darwin, we're going to keep calling it this. So we live in this world uh, where we believe in lies because white men came up with them. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm going to list a few other ones just in case, you know, you need your eyes opened. Other lies, Columbus discovered America, George Washington, the cherry tree story, that's a fable. Um, Jesus was a white capitalist, big lie. Mitch McConnell is a human, <laughs> not true. Crocs are cool, <laughs> white men are hot. Darwin's fox is a fox is the final one to join. Tragic. Um, and there are many more out there. <laughs> So I want to leave you with one thing, which is uh, why should you care? You know, like how badly is this animal endangered? A fun thing we do at our show is that a lot of comedians would like to present on an animal or an organism that they are particularly passionate about. And then afterwards, they'll link like, you know, here's a nonprofit organization or, you know, some place you can donate to to help this animal. So for you, why should you care? It's not badly endangered. Um, it's doing fine. <laughs> you don't really have to care. <laughs> I'm just doing this presentation because I'm a comedian. I chose to do this with my life. Okay. Uh, some people became doctors and I became a comedian. <laughs> and that's fine, Mom. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay that that's why I'm here. Anyway, thank you guys for listening to me talk. I'm Karen Chi. Have a great night. <laughs> Karen Chi.